my paws aren't this visible in real life. Good morning. It's Sunday rather than Saturday. Apologies. I was tired yesterday by the time I got home. Um, and I couldn't be bothered putting everything together, which is why my new Monday's resolution after five days off is to look after myself better. Um, and I'll talk about that in a bit. So we've had five days off, um, three days and weekend, because it was Eid. That was why we had to work the Saturday before, because the government gave us, there's two days off anyway for Eid, which were Wednesday and Thursday. And the government gave us the instruction to work the Saturday before so we could have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off this week. So it was more of a holiday. I'm not quite sure who it's a holiday for, apart from teachers, government workers, bankers, etc., because all the shops were open and everybody was going about their business, although I suppose it was a bit quieter than usual. Um, So, yeah, I did a bit of wandering around the area, going up and down my road, exploring the odd park. Um, And then yesterday uh, I went out with Nads, which was entirely uneventful. Uh, Nothing dramatic happened. Uh, It was bloody expensive, though, 28 mana each for a breakfast. I think that's the most expensive one we've ever gone for. And it was nice, but it certainly wasn't the best one we've ever had. The best one was the one we had on the uh, the boat a few weeks ago, for a few months ago now, back in autumn. Um, so yeah, we had our breakfast. We went for a nice walk uh, along the beach. And um, then we got the bus back. We were bus bankers, um, which cost us 45 kopecky, like 20p, uh, for an hour's bus journey through every town and village in this side of the world. But it was nice to get out of Baku, to feel like we were somewhere different. The beach is absolutely beautiful. And now I know where the bus goes from. I know that when the weather picks up a bit more, it's it's heading into the 20s now, which, you know, for me is beach weather. Uh, Nadia had to borrow my coat to put on top of her coat because she was cold. Um, So I know where I can go on the beach now if I fancy to sit down, have a nice relax on the beach one day when I'm off. So I've got three more weeks at work and then we've got another week's holiday. God knows what I'm going to do with myself in that one. Um, And uh, anyway... Yeah, I'm just rambling. I want to talk about, like, not feeling so good. Um, So I'll show you all my videos of what I have discovered. I'll try and remember to caption them and such like. Some of them won't will be in tiny boxes because I don't always remember to press the magical button that gets the sizing right on on the camera. So enjoy. uh, Be impressed with the beach. And I'll be back at the end of it to give you uh, a bit more of a roundup, Mum. So this is how I'm spending Thursday morning. Uh, About 4am this morning, my door blew open. Uh, It's never really fitted in the balcony door frame, but um, for some reason, it's very, very windy at the moment. I um, got woken up by the door flying open. And since 4am, I have been back and forth, closing the door, closing the door. Um, I messaged my landlord when I got up. He's on his way, apparently. Um, but yeah, I I can't keep the door shut and, uh, I can't just let it be open because it's so windy that, um, it, it's blowing and banging all over the place. So for about the last three hours, I've, I've been sat here holding this door half open, half closed, uh, which is exciting. My landlord's apparently on his way, which could mean any time between now and 9 p.m., Uh, I've investigated this door very thoroughly and it looks very clearly to me like somebody has taped it shut in the past. So this is obviously a problem that's existed before. So I'm just hoping to goodness, look how strong that wind is. I'm hoping to goodness that I don't get charged for this because this is not my bad. I have no idea who Carl Blue was, but he's got a metro station named after him as well as this statue. And you can hire a little car or an invalid scooter for a fun ride for kids.
I mean, that's a big Rahab supermarket. Did you? You never know you're in the same country. I think I've stopped that. quiet one i mean lunch was delightful expensive but delightful but mostly i've just been giving my ankle a rest because i knackered it over in bulgaria doing too much um and that, then it really hurt and then i was really struggling to get about again so it needed a break so apart from little walks up and down uh wandering through the little green spaces that are everywhere in baku uh, i haven't done a great deal for the last few days uh, but uh, going, getting out of Baku and going to the beach yesterday, that was lovely. Um, just discovering there's more to Azerbaijan than this city bit here. Um, so I enjoyed that. But what I did really notice was that when I was coming home, like we went for a good walk on the beach uh, and then we had to climb up about three million steps to get back onto the road and get on the bus. The bus was fun, took us on a real tour. Um but I was like, God, I'm knackered. I'm really, really knackered. You know, like my chest hurt a little bit. I was like, that, that's not good. That is not good, having a hurty chest. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm, I've got to start looking after myself. I am so fat. Um, I, I've never been this fat. I've always been a yo-yo dieter. I've always been up, down, you know, fat, thin, fat, thin my whole life. But not like this. Ever since I hit 50, um, I hit the menopause, it's like I've just ballooned. And if I'm feeling like out of breath and my chest hurts because I've been for a walk, bloody hell, that's a bit scary, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start eating less. It's the food at school. It's free. It, you, there's loads of it. Um, and I've got into really bad habits, you know, soup, bread, and then a full meal after that. And the food, it, it's nice enough, but it's all swimming in oil. Even the salads are, like, absolutely drenched in dressing. I mean, dr swimming in the stuff, you know, you have to pour some of it off the edge of your plate. Um, so, yeah, I want to look after myself a bit better. Eat less, move more. I might not be able to walk miles, you know, like I used to when I first came here because this ankle, based on when Chris did a very similar thing, um, it's going to take about a year to heal properly, I think. But, you know, maybe start swimming. Um move around a bit more because I'm a bit worried about just being so unhealthy so I need to look after myself a bit better that is um, this weekend's lesson to me uh, so yeah that's it um, Chris has been busy house hunting at home because it very much looks like our sales going through 
had a fun day out with my mum and my auntie S. Hello. Yesterday, and they took him out for lunch afterwards. So, yeah, hopefully things are moving there and we'll have somewhere to live by the time I get home because uh, the buyers seem quite keen to get moving. Uh, we just have to sort out some stuff with me being a tax exile, um, but we'll we'll sort it out. Uh, yeah, so that's that. I'm I'm going to uh, go mash up some eggs and make some egg mayonnaise to spread on diet crackers. Um, I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone's good. Uh, and uh, I'll see you all next week when I do this again. Peace out. <laughs>